I have the Pixel 9 Pro XL here, and in today's video, I'll be installing the privacy-focused custom ROM called Graphene OS. I'll be using the web installer, and since that is the easiest method, but technical folks can manually install it with Fastboot if you'd like. Before you can install this ROM, there are some things that you must set up ahead of time. For example, using the web installer means that only these operating systems are going to be officially supported. But I have seen this work on a plethora of other devices. Now, you're also going to need a browser that supports web USB protocol. I'll be using Chrome, but these are also supported. And last up, you're going to need to have your bootloader unlocked. This is something that will take a bit of time to complete, and I've already covered it in a previous video here on the channel. So to prevent this install guide from being longer than it needs to be, I'll have the Pixel 9 bootloader unlock tutorial linked down below. Anyone installing Graphene OS via a Linux machine should also read through these two sections as well, as it details some issues that can pop up from time to time. When you're ready to install Graphene OS on any device in the Pixel 9 series, we're going to load up this web page on the PC. And I'll have that linked down below for anyone who wants quick access to it. Then, we need to reboot the Pixel 9 Pro XL into fastboot mode, aka bootloader mode. I do this by restarting the device and then immediately begin pressing down on the volume down button. And I'll continue holding that button until this menu appears. This is fastboot mode. And now we're going to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. So our Pixel 9 Pro XL is already in fastboot mode. The bootloader is already previously unlocked. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download that custom ROM. We're going to obtain the factory image. So we'll click on the download release, select our device in this list, let it connect. And now the Graphene OS web installer has automatically detected what phone we have and it's automatically downloading the firmware that we need. So we're just going to leave our phone alone, leave the browser alone, and we're going to wait for this download to complete. After you see this fill up, you'll see that it says it has been downloaded, past tense. And now we're going to move on to the flashing factory images part. So we click on the blue flash release button here. And we wait. We're going to notice that our Pixel 9 is going to reboot. And this is normal. You can see that the installer actually told it to reboot. And you're going to see the phone reboot a couple of times as it completes this installation process. Again, we're going to leave the phone alone. We don't need to touch the USB cable or the phone. It needs to have a stable connection while this website installs the ROM. After a few minutes, you're going to see that progress bar fill up. And like before, you're going to see this switch over to past tense. It's going to say flashed. Then we can move on to locking the bootloader. Now this is not required, but it is something that I recommend for those who value privacy and security, since it actually enables the full verified boot. And it's very easy. We do that by clicking on the lock bootloader button here so that that command can be sent to our device. 
When that lock bootloader command is sent to your phone, you'll see the screen switch over to a confirmation dialog. By default, it's going to be selected, do not lock the bootloader, but we actually do want to lock the bootloader. So we're going to press the volume up or volume down button to change this to lock the bootloader. And then we press the power button to select that option. After a couple seconds, you'll see it reboot. It will wipe all the data from our device, keeping our Graphene OS custom ROM installed. And then it will boot us back up and take us to fast boot mode. You can see we are bootloader locked here. So we make sure that the start option is highlighted and we press the power button to select it. Now I'm getting ready to use this as my daily driver. So security and privacy are going to be a big focus for me. And that's why I lock the bootloader. If you have plans to root this device with something like Majisk, then you will want to keep that bootloader unlocked. After a little bit of time, you'll be taken to this boot animation screen. And again, Android is having to set everything back up again. So this longer boot time makes sense. Once you have Android activated and set up though, these reboots will not take this long. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip through most of this. That's really all there is to it. As you can see, the web installer really makes this installation process for Graphene OS very easy to complete. Once you activate your device, you'll see this asking if you want to disable OEM unlocking. This is recommended. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna keep that checked and then tap on start. Now we have access to our app drawer our home screen, and Graphene OS. And the ROM has some really useful verified boot and attestation features provided by the team, which allows you to verify everything has been installed correctly and that there aren't any modified pieces of the code. So even if your host PC was infected with a nasty piece of malware, you can still use this installer to make sure that your software that you want to install on your phone has not been modified in any way. If Graphene OS is not a custom ROM that you're familiar with, let me know about it in the comment section below. There are a lot of useful features packed within this ROM, but if the majority of you are already familiar with it, then there's no need for me to cover it here in future videos. So let me know via a comment down below. And if you would, don't forget to give this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising under videos lately, and subscribe to the channel too for more content about Graphene OS and its security-focused features.